excited. I'm nervous, but I'm excited. Yeah. I'm gonna become Miss Independent. You gonna miss me while I'm gone? Yeah. <laughs> Well, 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 what have we here? Where is it, John? Danbury Surf. Ah, what does that say in the window? <laughs> Hello. So, excuse the uh, A, the hair, because it's raining, uh, and obviously B, the noise, because it's raining. Um, but welcome to my new abode <laughs> that's crazy uh, well not my permanent abode obviously so how do i explain it so obviously we have some of you may know we have a car that we use or that i use when we're stopped working it's our little car that we kept from before and we just kept it in you know we had somewhere to store it and stuff like that and we used to use it actually when we had the pulse we used to take the car around with us um because obviously the pulse, we couldn't have the bike in all weathers and the pulse was a bit big. So we actually had a separate car for a little bit and we tried it out that way. Um, but then obviously since we've been in the, the Sonic, we don't we don't find that we struggle that much because obviously it's a bit shorter. Um, but we still kept the car and uh, it's back on the road because obviously while we're in one place, it's what I use to get around, you know, during the week to do shopping and do whatever. But then we, it got, we sort of got thinking the other literally this all happened in the space of a couple of weeks it's crazy um but i'm not one to hang around we were thinking that with us having to learn how to adjust to this new lifestyle as in this year we didn't know what was going to happen because obviously our plans for last year to earn money on the road you know dried up because obviously john's hgv work dried up with covid and obviously obviously and thankfully jason you know obviously the motorhome man uh, caravans and campers for those of you that don't know uh, very kindly said you know I need some help and it's kind of was meant to be two weeks and it's been a year on and off you know we we come back when he sort of needs us obviously the business you know is booming because of the, the current situation so um, you know we come here John obviously does work on the vans which is really helpful for us from a knowledge perspective but obviously also you know for, for Jason to have that extra pair of hands and, and I help out occasionally as well, doing a bit of cleaning or a bit of admin or whatever. But the weekend just gone at the South Central meet, which was wicked by the way, uh, our first one, uh, it just made us realise that because the world is open again and there's a lot of things we're going to want to do, it is a bit of a rush with, you know, John kind of finishing work on a Friday and then us going off for the weekend depends on how far away it is and if it's like a shire or an event it's quite full on for him as well because obviously you know i'm more i'm not very peopley like i get a little bit anxious you wouldn't think it i know but i get a little bit sort of socially anxious and that but john is you know he's even more sort of not anxious at all just gets peopled out quite quickly and i know he won't mind me saying that because he'll say it himself you know he's lovely sociable whatever but I think in smaller quantities which is absolutely fine and that's why we love him um but yeah we realized that actually it's probably going to end up being quite <clears throat> a bit much for him every weekend because there's just so much going on this summer and i'm quite independent anyway you know i i, I can be quite independent you know if john's doing things and i want to go off and do something i'll do it and vice versa so then it got me thinking well if we're going to keep the car why don't we swap the car for something that i can actually use to stay away so if i want to you know if there's an event i want to go to but other john's not up for it or he's got to work or whatever i can still go and um you know and do work if, <clears throat> if i'm doing writing or you know meeting people or it's an event that i'm at you know in a lbb capacity or whatever it sort of gives me that flexibility to be able to do that and john's fine with it it's, you know we've talked it through it's a decision we've both come to that i'm happy to go off and do that and then it just so happened that this came in at work. You know, we negotiated uh, a good deal. So we thought, well, sod it, we'll go for it. You know, at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out and we can't keep it, or it doesn't work out how we thought, that's fine. We'll just we'll change it up. We'll sell it. We'll do whatever. But you don't know. These, you don't know unless you try. Because our future fund was originally supposed to be getting us another house. 
but for the last 12 months or more, we've known that we don't want another house. Ah, oh, someone at my front door. I ruined it. No, I just said there's somebody at my front door. <laughs> Better than having someone at your back door. <laughs> this is literally the first time we've been in it since we decided to buy it, so um, obviously it needs a clean up and that, but we'll do all that ourselves so that you prep it for us. So yeah, so what do, you, what do you think, John? I like it. Yeah? Yeah. And what do you think to the whole arrangement? Oh, well, me having this and going off and... Yeah, it's good. Yeah? It's party time for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but when he says party time, what he actually means is just him and the girls napping and, you know, watching TV and or YouTube and... That's his idea of party time, isn't it? Pretty much. Yeah, exactly. But it's it's something exciting and something different and something to work towards our end goal, which is to continue travelling. So if that means me going off and being able to do bits and bobs that help towards our work, so be it. Hey. Yeah, because you can be a journalist and £100,000 a year and then I don't have to work. He got all that from this. <laughs> But yeah, so that's the idea behind it. So it could just be brick at a few events in the future. Might be, well, we've got to fix the Chicago now. We've got electrical problems. <gasps> oh yeah, I hadn't mentioned that. So that's the other thing is we've got an issue with our van, haven't we? Yeah. Seatbelt sensor keeps going off randomly yeah. while you're driving. So when we drove back from Oxford the other day from the South Central meet, three and a half hours of... Yeah. Beep, 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 it was on the way as well, beep, wasn't it? Beep, beep, beep. It started on it the way. It started on the way, yeah. So welcome to, I don't know, what, what is it? The bus? The bus? Yeah, I don't know, we have to give it a name. Tasha's party pad, I don't know. It's a party bus. <laughs> <laughs> You're a dubber now. I am. Oh, I am an official dubber now. So yeah, so going forward, this is the, uh, this is the changes that are happening at LBB. Prepare yourselves for a little bit of solo, uh, solo, solo female van life. Ah. Uh, I'm not excited, I'm nervous, but I'm excited, yeah. Because uh, I've not done it on my own before, because I have to rely on you for everything. You know, like driving and, mm. and doing all that, so I'm going to gonna become Miss Independent. You're going to miss me while I'm gone. Yeah. <laughs> Are you actually? Yes, I will. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> See, you got that on camera, he will miss me. <laughs> so that's it, so watch this face. <laughs> Here we are. Right, so, we made the decision, uh, obviously as you saw last night. So now, I mean, look at the weather compared to last night. So here we go. I'm just gonna pop down, do the deed, get the new steed. It's quite funny as well watching our, uh, our little future pot take a hit, cause, uh, Obviously, it's been sat there for a while now, and we were like, yes, we're going to do this with it. We're going to get another house, we're going to do all these things. But as I say, we've just realised that that's not what we want. <laughs> not what we want, so why shouldn't we, you know, invest in our, invest in the future and the lifestyle that we want? And like I say, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. One thing we've learned is nothing is irreversible. You can't live your life going, oh, I can't do that, I can't do that. Do it. Do it, and as long as you've got a plan and you've thought it through, you'll figure it all out later. Here we go. Yes, I'll take this one, please. Oh, oh, he's in it already. I didn't even pay for it yet. What you doing, John? Just checking the battery. Yeah? I suppose I better go pay for it, don't I? Yeah, I suppose. Butt crack van life shot there. Oh. Look at it, look at me. Oh, yeah. Hot. Now that it's all done, I just want to give you a very quick tour. This is literally ad hoc, haven't even moved it off the pitch yet, uh, tour. So here we go. So what is it, John? A Danbury, what, the van? Yeah. Yeah, Danbury Surf uh -huh. T5. T5.1, isn't it, basically? So T5.1, obviously, sliding door take you in here so we've got compressor fridge 
obviously the standard rock and roll bed and you can get to under the bed there for a bit of storage where I'll probably put my camping chair or fire pit or whatever uh, oven grill I think or is it just a grill uh, I, think, oh, I think it's oven oven grill and put that up there two burner came with a free tea towelet someone's obviously already been on rattle patrol uh, so that's that sink and this is quite cool so you pull this back and then you've got a little work surface that rolls out so you can use that for whatever put that way uh, cutlery drawer I like this actually this is quite cool got a little little rack so you know teas coffees dry foods etc etc uh, there is a little table which lives here so that's going to be like my sort of mobile office if you like while I'm working editing doing whatever that's going to become my little office uh, we've got a storage compartment there another one there and one here which I think is going to become probably my clothes one maybe get myself some packing cubes uh, got a little like hanging sort of wardrobe area here that all shuts off like these because I'm a fan of these already comes with uh, one USB and two mains but I think we're gonna change that to maybe add sort of add in another USB for me um, and I want to add a 12 volt as well so I can charge it on MacBook and stuff but obviously that'll probably come later um, once we've upgraded the battery because I think uh, we're gonna I want to upgrade the battery to a lithium one because obviously lithium is tried and tested for me I know you know we don't have power anxiety in our van so I want that in this one uh, so if there's anyone that wants to you know hook me up with a lithium battery I'm not gonna say no get involved hit me up uh, another another thing there obviously curtains on every window including on here and uh, this is obviously is a window there pop top um, and that's pretty much it really uh, let's have a look at the back do you know the irony that we haven't even done a van tour in the Adria yet and I'm doing you a van tour on this one <laughs> oh the irony but then the other one takes longer this one only takes like a quarter of the time the Adria will take a lot longer here we go so open my back doors and we've got it comes with a toilet which is fantastic which uh, doesn't look like it's been used and it comes with some eco tabs whoever whoever park exchange just left the eco tabs in fantastic a uh, hookup cable plus um plus it's come with a, a few little extra uh, attachments as well so that's fantastic and obviously that's all my under bed storage so, so that goes back through to the front got my little uh got my little camping gas bottle in there so I haven't got to worry about LPG like finding LPG that should um, obviously sort me out got the uh, I'm not even gonna pretend the bits and bobs there the fuses another storage pocket there obviously leaves on here and I believe that a solar panel obviously hugely important that's what we couldn't believe about this van it's literally come ready to go so I can literally take it and start using it straight away because it's already got a leisure battery solar panel uh, toilet fridge all ready to go um, obviously John was playing with the battery earlier so that lives in there um, ah, and a little Brucey it's already got a Victron charge controller I'm not even gonna pretend but it's got something Victron in there and John was very happy about that so let's go with that uh, oh and the uh, these seats obviously swivel round so and it came with a comes with a steering wheel lock and everything so uh, and the other night we put the pop top up to test it and it started raining so we actually left it out and then John come back and checked it the next day and can't find any leaks so again it's a good uh, a good test of everything that is that is pretty much our new van <laughs> sorry it's just it's still slightly crazy uh, but I guess that's been the lesson the last couple of years is that nothing's really turned out how I thought it would be um so I think instead of overthinking it and worrying about it you've just got to go with it because 
like I say, no decision is irreversible as long as you plan it and whatever, oh, think it through, you know. So yes, this is mental. Welcome to my new van.